it was hard to convince those girls to do that. Oh, I assumed you literally just videotaped them to do it. No, I totally. Not. Yeah, I didn't even ask. <laughs> I just filmed through their window. <laughs> it's really convenient that she happened to be like that when I was peeking in there. <laughs> of course, we won't talk about the three hours you waited for that moment. <laughs> I'm actually not allowed to until I go to court. <laughs> I don't know how long this is going to work. It might be too loud here, but we'll try it. Hi there. Happy Friday. It's July the 5th, 2019, and I'm Eric. Talking at you as always from beautiful downtown Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada, where I've been sent with a message for white rich people. Uh, please shut up. You're only making it worse. <laughs> Simple to the point and perfect. <laughs> I can't believe this goddamn Little Mermaid thing and how far out of control. Have you the, the latest today? They're not only mad about um, the the black girl being uh, the Little Mermaid. They're mad that people are referring to her as the black girl. So the people who are calling her out for being black yeah. are mad that people are calling her out for being black. Well, why are we calling this lovely African woman a black girl? Well, because she's black. For one thing, was and and she's 19 years old, so she's still a girl. Um, yeah. I I don't see what's wrong. Like, just fucking get something wrong in your life and leave our problems alone. My God, you look so stupid. You just look stupid, bitch. It would be like me and you bitching about like the plight of ugly people. We just don't get it, and we sound bad saying it. I, you know what? I'm I'm absolutely convinced that it's all a lie. These people are flat out in their fake accounts created by by pops of parts of the fucking government that are just doing this strictly to keep people on edge, to keep, keep people complacent so they can put laws into place that keep people in control. It's the only thing that makes sense. You know, you're probably uh, more more accurate than we like to admit. It has to be. I mean, like, there's no way in hell anybody is going stand up and get like vocally pissy about this enough to cause any form of a true phenomenon unless you're doing it specifically to manipulate people. It's the only possible explanation because there's no way anybody's this fucking angry about this. There's no yeah. way anybody cares this deeply about it. Well, yeah, they're damn good fakers then. That's all I'll say. Well, like, think about it. Did anybody freak out because Will Smith was black doing a Robin Williams role? It was Will Smith people were more concerned about, not and how he looked, because he, he, face it, he looked fucking stupid. Yeah, he, uh, I haven't seen it. Well, I saw just that picture of him. I don't, I don't know how he is. It even out yet? Uh, I don't know. I'm gonna not be honest. Know. I have no I idea. Care. But I just I saw like, the same thing. Saw the images. Even Will Smith was saying how fucking that he looked fucking stupid in it. I really couldn't give a shit. It's Disney. It's supposed to be stupid. Can yeah, get over it. It's just ah. My God, why do we? Why are we able to bitch about Disney? Like, is there not enough going on in the world that we can find a complaint about this real? No, and that's the problem. Everything's a fucking problem. That's the problem. <laughs> it's uh, Fuck. it's frustrating, you know, especially to be able to see just how pointless it all is. Like, it does nothing to help society. The, even if you're under the intention of seeing this and saying, okay, you're doing the reverse form of gentrifying a fucking movie by making sure that you have uh, every race included and get a you know, black person to play with what was drawn as a white, a white dolphin chick. Like, oh, Jesus. get over yourself. Nobody cares. It's, it's Nobody. The... And if you do, if this is a problem for you, if you're really overly concerned about this, I, I'm going to revert back to what I always say. Eat a fucking bullet. You're pointless. You're useless to society. Stop. Stop. Just... Stop breathing. Stop existing. You're pointless. Stop. 
It's the same as when people complain about whitewashing to me, which I, frankly, I don't care. Um, it's, yeah, Hollywood's whitewashing. Yeah, it's a bunch of white actors. Who cares? They made a white version. Go, you could go to Japan and get the Japanese version. Quit whining. Yeah. Um, they're, they're... Here's all I got to say. You want to know the difference, though? White people make a comedy movie about airplanes. They come up with fucking the movie Airplane, which is absolute genius. Black people come out with a fucking airplane movie, and it's fucking Soul Plane. Yeah, well, yeah. So, you know, like... (laughs) At the risk of sounding horribly racist, which I kind of am sometimes, I've never found, like, black movies funny. They're always, like, half... Or uh, not half-baked. What was the... Next Friday and shit like that. Yeah, well... I mean, like, they got the two types, right? I mean, like, you got, like, you got the... Like you said... The Friday movies, which are fine to watch once when you're sitting back and just smoking a joint. And watching no, yeah, only if you smoke pot are those fine. Yeah, yeah, because it doesn't work when you're drinking. It just doesn't. It's just not that type of movie. Um, it's either that or you get like you like do the right thing and uh, um, the movie I mentioned these last night and still can't think of the fucking title of uh, Boys in the Hood. <laughs> well, yeah, well, I still can't believe that. It, uh, John so like those, uh, but those movies Spike are Lee. amazing. Yeah. Like well, yeah. No, John Singleton made fantastic movies, and I'm not saying black people aren't funny. Yeah. Lots of black people aren't funny. It's just a, the, the movies suck. Yeah. <laughs> movies that, if they if they're based on like that's that's what the movie is based around. Like the black uh, the black exploitation movies. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, which are in turn is pretty much just the same version of like well a the fucking typical cowboy movies that were done in the earlier days and then um well everything else that was on tv oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, fuck um, but, yeah uh, yeah anyway i'm glad uh, everybody gets their own shows that they can have and that everybody gets something that they like that's oh, appreciative yeah that's sure. the thing everybody there's something for everybody so what yeah. the fuck are we whining about you know what i mean yeah uh, nobody's, nobody's. All I gotta, all I gotta so, say is, all in the family existed. Sure. And that was fine. Two racist fucking people that were basically like best friends. Yeah, exactly. Come on. And they, uh, that show broke down barriers. It was hilarious. Yeah. Do you know that it was the first TV show to ever have the sound of a toilet flushing? I think I might have actually known that. Yeah. Yeah, that was a big, apparently that was a big fucking deal. Oh, yeah. Well, look, when, uh, when, uh, What's His Nuts and Mary Tyler Moore shared a bed, people lost their minds. Yeah. <laughs> it's funny, eh? It was it was married movie. people sleeping in the same bed. That's crazy. Can't show that. It's disgusting. They should be in two separate beds. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, because that all married people lived in, they slept in separate beds until then. Yeah. I guess. No, no, they didn't. They even they got to, they even slept together in the Bible. That's why it says <laughs> flat earth in it. <laughs> Cuz they were had to bring that up, didn't you? They were looking for a place to do it. <laughs> That's what the whole chapter is about, you filthy filthy earthers. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I had to bring it up. Whatever. Why not? Uh, Those guys are getting on my nerves again. They're getting worse. I'm in a new group. <laughs> And they're all shitty about things. Uh, oh. Now, what's the personality style like? Are these guys more combative? Or are they? do they have anything that would resemble something better than, well, the Bible told me so? No. Ah, so no, absolutely not. That's uh, all that everything is based on. Um, Aren't uh, there yeah. some that had that? Is, is, there, is the only way to believe in flat earth is to believe in God? Can no, apparently the there are God? ones that don't. There, there, are, there are those that... Uh, don't aren't, aren't religious about it. They just think that NASA's full of liars and everything's a big conspiracy. And there's like Anunnaki type people. They believe a whole different fucking version of it. I don't understand. Like you get to, down to the thing where like Australia doesn't exist. Like, yeah, that's just. I mean, like everyone in Whistler is lying. Shut up. It's stupid. It, it just makes no sense. And it, I. It really I think under their model, I'm not sure how tectonic movement uh, occurs or operates in a flat Earth model. I haven't looked into that, but it was going fucking crazy this weekend. So. 
Excuse me, I yawned. Yeah, I heard uh, uh, that uh, California got hit with like a 6.4 or something. California, if you're talking about Prince George, California. You guys got hit by one too? Prince George, 6.2. Oh, shit. Uh, and 32 hours before that, a 5.6, and a 4.5, and a 4.6, all around the Haida Gwaii area. Wow. Oh, all this, yeah, man, it's it's warming up for the big you, show. So did you feel it where you were or no? Not a so thing. Far away. No, okay. Not even close. And it was apparently one of the shallower ones. There's no tsunami warning or anything, but. No. No, because uh, Prince George is not only north, but it's it's like inland more. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like it's pretty far inland. This it's uh, it's getting scary though. It's it's happening. It's getting ready. It's geared up. That's just the uh, the opening it's, acts. The headline is going to hit the stage soon, and it's going to be fun. I am definitely you know it's going to be interesting to watch. I don't I don't know if I want to be here. Uh, uh, I still say that, I still say that one of the safest places you could be is on is it North Vancouver, oh, uh, Lonsdale area between uh, 13th and 22nd, or th- yeah, 13th and 20 yeah, 13th and 22nd. The reason I say that is because between 13th and 22nd, you're at you're past the steep part of that hill, which means you got a giant breaker wall there which is great. And then between that and if somewhere, if like I say a mountain were to spew fucking lava in behind, say Grouse Mountain fucking lit up, if that lit up, if it comes down, it's got that entire highway it's going to drop in front of the lava into. Hopefully. So you got a safety ground between the two. you think. Perfect. I think the, yeah, the highway is pretty much going to be the divider, and then that'll all be waterfront property. So uh, like, yeah, eventually. Yeah. If you can buy up in Lynn Valley, now's the time to do it. Yep. Yep. But I, I remember because when I was living around that area, I remember I was scoping that out and taking a walk and going, you know what? This here, if you're going to be living out in BC and you want to have your best chance of survival, I think that is your number one best chance. I think every flat earther who wants to survive should go hang out in Richmond. I hear it's the safest place to be. Why Richmond? Because it's going to sink. Shut up. <laughs> you know what that's right i do remember people saying that one. if anything went that'd be the first place to go <laughs> people actually make it sound like that it's not just going to be a natural like a, a phenomenon like that but they just think that just one day it's just going that, that the earth is just say fuck richmond i think that's the whole reason they built that big airport in uh in abbotsford <laughs> in preparation <laughs> Hang on, I'm going to uh, pause this for a second. There's a fight outside, and it's really funny. Oh, right on. Uh, sorry, just two guys fighting. I love watching that. Um, yeah, <laughs> so. Um, another one one that really got me today that was awesome, a kidnapper in Burnaby. Apparently, there's yeah. some big kidnapping that I didn't hear about. No, but, not uh, sure. Cops burst into this place. Kidnapper tried to flee off the 11th floor balcony. Oh, so no. he's He's awaiting arrest in hospital. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell Run away you? now, motherfucker. <laughs> Apparently three of them were able to uh, drop down to other floors and, and he was not. <laughs> he Well, he did just much faster than the others. <laughs> <laughs> he just skipped on a much more direct way. Mm. You know, funny. when you say that, it's funny. When you tell those, that, that story, I... It always makes me remind me of there's an episode of uh, Cops years ago, and they were going after this tiny Asian dude who was completely fucked on PCP. And they chase him up into a parking garage. He gets five fucking floors up in a parking garage, climbs out on the fucking balcony on the edge, and fucking jumps, lands on his fucking feet. His legs shatter, right? Like breaks the bones. He stands up and keeps running. These cops, like seven of them, jump on top of him, pin him down. And you think, all right, cool, this you know, motherfucker's caught now. No, no, no. Like a fucking wrestling move. He just literally, all of a sudden, the bodies fly off. He stands up and goes, ah! And then takes off running. And as he's running, he's literally shrinking in height as his bones are shattering in his legs. Oh, my God. It was incredible to fucking watch. I remember just being absolutely fucking blown away watching this. I'm like, oh, my God. 
Like this, this is what PCP 